So, Blender is known as the 3D powerhouse, but what if I told you it might just replace your favorite 2D animation software in 2025? Sounds crazy, right? Stick around, because the truth is a lot more surprising than you think. In this video, I'll break down exactly how good Blender really is for 2D animation today, why more artists are making the switch, and the shocking limitations you need to know before you dive in. By the end, you'll know whether Blender should be your go-to for 2D or just stick to 3D. But here's the twist. There's one feature hidden inside Blender's grease pencil that could actually give it an edge over traditional 2D software, and most people don't even know it exists. Blender isn't just for 3D anymore. The grease pencil tool lets you draw, animate, and even combine 2D with 3D in the same scene. This means you can do frame by frame traditional animation and cutout style, all inside one free program. Blender's Grease Pencil is a unique and powerful tool that combines traditional 2D animation with 3D workflows. It allows artists to draw 2D strokes directly in a 3D space, making the strokes vector based and editable like 3D objects. This capability enables animators and artists to blend hand-drawn 2D elements with 3D models and scenes, providing unprecedented flexibility and creative control. Drawing and animating 2D frames in a fully 3D environment, allowing strokes to be positioned in 3D space. Vector-based strokes that can be sculpted, edited, and animated frame by frame, or through rigging and cutout animation techniques. The ability to place strokes on surfaces of 3D objects or in free space for layering, parallax effects, and complex scene integration. Support for traditional animation tools like onion skinning, keyframes, and interpolation. Compatibility with Blender's rendering engines and animation pipelines. Enabling export of 2D animations with 3D effects. With Grease Pencil, Blender artists can create anything from simple 2D sketches to complex animations that interact seamlessly with 3D elements, truly unlocking new dimensions for 2D art and animation within one software environment. The pros, why people love it. It's completely free. You can mix 2D with 3D effects seamlessly. Huge community and tons of tutorials popping up in 2025. Non-destructive workflow with layers and modifiers. The standout feature for 2D animators, it lets users draw and animate in a 3D space. This allows mixing traditional 2D animation with 3D effects and environments, creating more immersive and dynamic animations. Blender is completely free, making it accessible to artists at all levels without the barrier of expensive licenses. The open source nature fosters rapid development and a large supportive community. The large user base means plenty of tutorials, plugins, community feedback, and troubleshooting help is available, which is essential for artists learning or refining their skills. Blender continues to improve its 2D capabilities, including better drawing tools, performance optimizations, and integration with geometry nodes for manipulating 2D elements with 3D modeling techniques, opening new creative possibilities. Blender supports both simple 2D animations and complex projects mixing 2D and 3D elements, making it suitable for a broad range of artistic styles and project types. Learning Blender not only enhances 2D animation skills, but also introduces artists to 3D concepts, increasing their versatility and value in the animation industry. In summary, Blender's combination of powerful features, affordability, continuous development, and creative freedom make it a highly favored choice for 2D animation in 2025, especially for animators who want to experiment beyond traditional 2D techniques. The cons, the shocking truth. The learning curve is real. It's not as straightforward as Toon Boom or Krita, still missing some industry-level pipeline tools for big studios. Performance can lag on heavy 2D projects if your hardware isn't strong. Many users find it challenging to achieve desired pen stroke precision and organic movement, making 2D drawing and animation labor intensive and sometimes frustrating. Blender can slow down significantly when working on larger 2D projects or when applying many effects and modifiers in the grease pencil tool. Transitioning between 2D and 3D or aiming for hybrid 2.5D animation can introduce complexity 
with sophisticated workflows that are not always easy to pipeline or use intuitively. Some users report that the drawing experience and stroke smoothing and blender feel off compared to dedicated 2D animation software, yielding a lower strokes per minute and less fluid creative experience. Blender provides 2D layers and effects, but does not have a simple node or system to automatically generate final lighting. Artists must composite passes manually, which can be cumbersome. Overall, while Blender offers powerful hybrid 2D slash 3D capabilities and flexibility, its 2D animation tools come with a significant learning curve, performance bottlenecks on larger projects, and somewhat unnatural 2D drawing workflows compared to specialized animation software. Now remember that hidden edge I mentioned? It's Blender's ability to take your 2D drawings and instantly give them depth with 3D space. Imagine a hand-drawn character walking through a fully 3D environment, all without switching software. That's something traditional 2D programs just can't do. But here's the kicker. Will Blender actually replace 2D industry giants like Toon Boom or Adobe Animate? Or is it destined to stay the cool free alternative? That's what's sparking huge debates among animators right now. So what do you think? Is Blender ready to take over 2D animation in 2025? Or do you still trust the classics? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you got value from this breakdown, hit that like button and subscribe for more Blender secrets, tips, and honest breakdowns you won't hear anywhere else.